you guys. Hey, it's Maria from the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles, and we got a special treat today. We have Allison Felix. You know her. She is the uh, three-time Olympic gold medalist uh, for the 2012 Olympics for the 200 meter, and oh gosh, you have so many other medals and and. <laughs> to speak of, as well as these three, which, by the way, uh, are in front of me. So we're going to show you that in a second. But anyway, we're talking to Allison today. And let me introduce you to everyone in the Hangout. Okay, I know cool. they're so anxious to say hi to you. This is Trev. He's hanging out from uh, Yorkshire in the UK. Hey. Hi, Paul is in Rhode Island with us. <laughs> That's um, awesome. <laughs> um, Monica is in Boulder, although she's on vacation right now. I think you're in... Dakota? I can't remember. Um, and, uh, South Dakota. South Dakota. Is Laurent is in Paris, France right now. Oh, hello. He's got that very romantic mood lighting there in Paris. <laughs> um, Kyle is in Milwaukee. How's it going, Allison? Hey. We've got Kempton, who's in Calgary, Canada. Hello, Allison. Justin hey. is in Brighton, also in England. Nice. Diano is in Reno. Right. Hey, what's up? And Anthony is in Sacramento. Hello. Hey. So we've got full house today. And by the way, if you're watching on air, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you plus and comment and share the link. And if you've got any comments or questions, just tag me or everyone else in the Hangout, and we'll try to get them over to Allison. Okay? So um, first of all, Allison, we want to see. We want to see oh, the, the medals, your, your, your bling. <laughs> yes, definitely. Right. Here's, okay, can I, can I hold those. them too? Yeah. It's okay. Oh, yeah. my gosh. There they are. Yeah. They are really yeah. heavy. Each yeah, they're a lot heavier is, than what, you would think. How how much do you think each one weighs? This I have no like, idea. <laughs> this is a good like three pounds, I would think. It's how probably somewhere couple. around there, yeah. Look at everyone is here. I wish you guys could see everyone is here. You guys are so many people <laughs> here hanging out, waiting to say hi to Allison. That is so fabulous. Anyway, so um, how are you feeling? I'm feeling are good. You just, like, yeah. Are you still kind of in disbelief or has it um, all sunk in for you? I don't you? think it's all completely sunk in yet, yeah. but I think it's getting there and uh -huh. it's just so good to be home now. So, That's right. This yeah. is home for you. This yes. Home. You're a Bruin girl? No. Oh, no. Oh, did I say that wrong? When did I'm a Trojan. Oh, oh, boy. Not a good one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, but my gosh. Trojans oh, are nice. So. Oh, Let's start right. over. I'm, I live, you know, very close to UCLA, so I have to say that. So I actually I train at UCLA, oh. so, <laughs> you know. So there you go. Yeah. See? Okay, there's not so much bad blood there between uh, the Bruins and the Trojans. Yeah. Okay, so you're back home. I know you guys have questions. So Blame it. Yes, yeah. go ahead. I've got yes. three in my own. Okay, you go, you go the first one. First one. Wait, it's probably an obvious one. Um, which was your favorite of the three? Or do you have a favorite of the three? Because I'll tell I you. Do. Oh, you do have a favorite. I do have a favorite. Oh, so excellent. the 200 meter is my favorite because that's my individual event. And that's the event that I had silver twice before. Mm -hmm. So it just meant so much for me to actually finally get it and for everything to come together. So I think that'll always be my favorite. That's your favorite yeah. one. Which one is that one? Let's see. Oh, it does say, right? <laughs> they do. That's oh, this they one. do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Paul, go ahead. Watch yeah, your I got to say, I was I was rooting for, for you from the beginning. I was like, I was saying you. Like that you oh, awesome. I was tensed the Purple. whole time because you were up against some serious competitors. Yeah, and it was, was that moment where it was like down to the wire and then you just bolted and kicked their ass. <laughs> and I was like in my chair like... Wow, I was blown away. But my one question, one, my one question for you, I mean, you, you got the two silvers and then you got the gold. Do you think mentally you had any any difference mentally in any of the three races or were you the same um, focus on all three? I think I was more motivated than ever before um, just by having those two silver medals. And so I don't know if I would have had gold, you know, in 04 or 08, would I have been that determined to get it done. So I think that was the difference with just my mentality going into the race. Mm. They say they say that people who succeed ha like they visualize having it. Did you, did you have it before you got it? Um, I had hoped, and I definitely visualized myself up on that podium. You Do know? you go through those stuff? Because I often wonder about athletes who you know think about think positive, and they they, they yeah. Yeah, they can definitely. see themselves on the podium getting that gold. Definitely, but you still you just don't want to do too much because it hasn't happened. You don't want to, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. take you yourself. just step by step. You have to get it done. So, okay. Yeah. Um, who, Kempton, yes, you had a question. Yeah. Go ahead, um, I love Canada, but you personally has three times more goals than Canada as a country. <laughs> I have to get that out. But, uh, so I want to ask you, in your world record uh, breaking performance in a 4x100, did mm -hmm. you guys uh, actually, did you, in your leg, uh, did you have a feel that, hey, 
I think we are getting it. We are getting the we could break the world record. What was it like? Did you have what, what was that experience like for you? Anna? Well, going into the race, we knew that we were really close to the Olympic record, mm -hmm. um, but our our mind really wasn't on the the world record. So it was kind of a surprise. You know, we looked up and we saw it, and it was just amazing because in track and field for women's sprints, it's very hard to get a world record. So it was probably the coolest moment of the whole the whole games for us. Yeah, it's twenty five seven um, years record, right? Uh, it's a yeah, long it's time. <laughs> Hey Monica, Monica, go ahead. You have a question. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I, first of all, I want to say that uh, you're also one of my heroes, and uh, um, I wondered if you'd talk about, you know, you're a role model for so many young girls out there, and um, you know, I, I wondered if you'd talk about like, um, you know, like that. I would realize when I was watching the Olympics that like. A lot of young girls, um, there's a difference between like the way that we view healthy bodies nowadays. Like a lot of young girls, like the number of eating disorders is on the rise. Like they don't exercise. Um, you know, like there's there's this view of like a healthy woman that doesn't have any muscles. You know what I mean? That doesn't yeah. eat. And like women that exercise actually have muscles and are strong. And so like... I really respect you and other athletes that work out and have muscles and you know what I mean? Yeah, thank you. I think that was a great thing about the London Games was that um, female athletes were at such a forefront and we had so much success and that's a huge passion of mine is just, you know, making sure that kids are getting active again but also, like you said, that um, young girls, you know, have the idea of a healthy body image mm -hmm. and I race against a lot of girls who are very big but I don't think you need to be that big or have that many muscles mm -hmm. or anything I embrace, um, you know, being very feminine. And I just think that, you know, strong is beautiful, but it's whatever with whatever body type you have. So as long as you're healthy and moving around and eating right and doing all that stuff, then it's great. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I only have time for now. Okay, go ahead. One more question from you, Kyle. Uh, I also know. Congratulations, by the way. Um, uh, I did see uh, you on Jay Leno the other night, and I just want to see your 21 face in, uh, in person. <laughs> Show the twenty one face. I don't know the twenty one second like, face. Do it like now, but I think it's just something like That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it only really happens when I get really close. You have to get really close to the camera and then you get it. Um anyway, those beautiful <laughs> eyes. Listen, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm sorry yeah. that we couldn't ask more questions, but Allison, thank you for hanging oh, out with thanks us. Thanks for having you me. Guys it was take fun. A quick photo? Yay. You okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. All right. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. All right. And I know everyone wants to take photos oh. with you. So yeah, my I pleasure. know there's like a line of people wanting <laughs> to get nice to talk to you. 